Alright, hello everyone, come one come all, to Yelmer Plays Repentance with Fiendfolio mod installed. This time it actually is installed, as you can see with the little, the little stinker over there in the top left, play as Oyo. Is that the guy? No, that's Fiend. Yeah, that's Golem. Who the fuck is Oyo? Doesn't make any sense. Um, I, I started to run here to check, to test the mods, see if they're working. Um, they work now, and there was a weird error message, but that's been fixed, so you don't need to worry about that. That's why I started to run, though, for 30 minutes, sec 39 seconds. I haven't done anything yet, so I'm just going to continue this run. Um, and we're rambling, rambling, rambling. So, uh, we got the Fiend Folio mod installed now. Um, if you don't know what the Fiend Folio mod is, let me just... Well, there you go. It g gives a, it gives the game a new, a new enemy. One new enemy, and that was it. Ha ha ha. Funny, of course it's not one new enemy, you idiot. It's multiple new enemies. Um, it's a great amount. So, it makes the game... Uh, I don't even know if you would say, like, necessarily harder, but it makes it different. And I like that, because I have a lot of hours in this game, which I really like to mention. Um, 1100 to be exact. And uh, I, I could use a new challenge. So, that, that, that that's why the Fiend Folly mod is happening right now. Ooh, Pet Fried Poop is good. So... It, it should make the game more fresh, a little more difficult. Um, Hammer Hoist. So as you can see, it also brings... It doesn't just do new enemies. It used to be only new enemies, which I thought at first it was just going to be. But there's new pills. There's new uh, ways to die, as you can see. New ways to take real stupid damage. Um, and new items. Did I say that already? Probably. New poops, new pills. Dude, there's a lot. There's a lot. It's a lot more than just enemies. So that's... um. It's fun, and I want to experience it with everyone here. And I do have the external items des description mod installed, so that if there's a new item, I will know what it does, which is nice. So we don't have to go through that whole, is this good, is this bad, what do we do, what the- See, here we go. Chili powder. Key pickups are turned to spicy keys. Spicy keys double damage. Right, yeah, yeah, okay. So spicy keys are as, all as a consumable they added, and it just hurts the pickup. That's a toy camera. So, okay, destroy. Okay, it destroys projectiles and stuns enemies. Grants the tears up when you flash yourself. <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean flash? Like, how do you do that? Don't you just hold it and use it? Do you like have to place it on a little tripod? Now that'd be something, man. That'd be something. As you can see, the rocks look a little differently too. There's a ton that this mod overhauls and changes. It's a whole ass experience. Like, you've got these fucking uh, belly buttons right there. As you can see, I'm taking a lot more damage um, because I have no idea how these enemies work. And I'm also talking, so I'm not really paying attention. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to, like, uh, pay attention when I can. Ah, frick. 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 So I'm going to be honest. I thought I was going to have another introductory uh, episode today that would just cover uh, me getting to mom's heart. But uh, I'm actually really pleased that it's not mom's heart you to be, but mom. Because that's what we did last episode. Uh, I'm actually really pleased about that because I, I wanted to start the Feedfolio mod. It's going to make it a lot more fun. And hopefully more engaging to watch too. Because, you know, you, you've watched a guy play Isaac before and talk. But have you watched a guy play Isaac with a... Yeah, you've probably done that too. But have you seen a guy do it with to completion? No, that you probably haven't. Did I, did I even check if anyone's ever done this before? No, I have not. Do I care? I shouldn't care. That's that's the clue, all right? Because it's not like I'm going to think of something 100% original to do. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Yo, they got all the tarot. <gasps> they got the, the minor arcana. I, I'm a little bit into tarot, um, and this is pretty neat. Spawns three random trinkets, including golem trinkets. Uh, being, wow, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a lot of new stuff right out of the bat. Well, what does Two of Swords do? Spawns a... Turns all pickups, chests, and non-boss enemies in the room into blue flies, spiders, and scuzz. Scuzz. Okay. Oh, but this one? Supposed to copy of all the dip familiars and blue flies. Spiders and scuzz in the room. Activate the box of friends effects. Find a copy of all users of permanent familiars. Okay. I'll take this one. Okay. What do we got here? Fortune Worm. Two shot speed, two luck. Replace some tears with fortune cookies, which deal 1.05 times the damage and display fortune on hits. Kelso luck. That's kind of cute. Uh, no, I want to see what it does first. Breakfast fossil plus one max health when crushed rock trinket fossil. Oh, we need a rock trinket for that. Interesting. Uh, that's a brain fossil. I want to see what that does. Grant stairs homing for a short period of time after being fired. Sponge become crushed. Rock trinket. Rock trinket. 
Uh, I guess those are rock trinkets. This one seems cute. I'm gonna use the the worm, and then I'm also going to take this two of swords with me, which I already forgot what it did. I think it uh, it doubles my familiars. What's this guy? I didn't even. Uh, his name is Buck. Um, hello, Buck. I will uh, be sure to not take any. You're dead. That's explosivo, baby. That's a good start. Okay, screws. Great. All right, so we're already right off the bat, just like. I'm having a ton of different stuff here. Uh, you and me are both overloaded, baby. Not just me. And if you're not overloaded because you played this game before, this uh, this 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 uh, mod before, um, feel okay. Yeah, here here here's the general rules uh, of commenting. If anybody cares to comment, uh, I'm okay with getting advice about stuff I've already seen. Do not give me advice about stuff I haven't seen. Um, if you want to point me towards like secrets, do it. Do it in a subtle way, uh, and that's the rules. I don't really care what else you do. I, I'm open to advice as long as you don't go. This guy is ass, ass. He's ass, um, and, I, I, and he sucks. Don't do that because that'll make me cry. You don't want to make me cry, right? Seat fart. <laughs> fart S and D S. So fucking true, bro. Get him. So, so far, the new enemies haven't been a huge problem. It's just something to learn. And that's fun. Because it's been a while since I've been in the learning stage of Isaac. Dung XL, Dung Y. You can see at the bottom middle, you can see the uh, um, the name of the room we are in. And sometimes the mod creators like to do a funny in there. I appreciate that. I think it, I, I think funny, being funny can be funny. Personally speaking. So, yeah, today is a Wednesday. Um... I said last episode that I would love to do this daily. Uh, well, so, okay, so let me give you some context. I have started a new study recently. It's a study uh, that's called an AV specialist study. It's audiovisual specialist. Uh, I'm sure most of the people here would kind of know what that entails. Average fiend, that's me, baby. I'm that fiend folio enjoyer. Uh, I'm sure most oh, most people here will, would know what that means, but I'm going to explain it anyway. It, it's about... Um, Oh, on oh God! It's about uh, that's gonna be so distracting. Very fun though. Get him, get him. It's about learning how to operate. Look, what if they were talking about me, right? Because you know you got Germa, but people call me Germa because Yomer, it's a little close to Germa. It's happened a lot of times. So, no, I will not be released to my nudes. I mean, I don't have any nudes, obviously. <laughs> anyway, PhD is good. Uh, we know PhD. Speed up. Alright, alright. So anyway, as I was saying, I started an audiovisual study. Um, specialist study. Even. There's a book item that I don't know about. Um, can we blow the books up? Because if we can, then we can get to that book. We sure can. Woo. What is it? Empty book. Customizable active item. There's a very different effect depending on what you choose. Choose, huh? Let's see, let's see, uh, what do they mean by that? Let's see what that means. I want to read a short story full of mischief with a profitable twist. Uh, this is a short story. About, f full of mischief with a profitable twist. Just like spam to one. Write me. My story, my very own story. Okay. Okay, look at that profitable twist right there. All right, get some money every two rooms. Get some familiars every two rooms. All right, I'm into it. Anyway, as I was saying, um, a AV audiovisual specialist about operating a camera in um, a lot of different ways, basically. It's uh, honestly like it's a very broad study so far. Shredder item recycler. That gives that 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 that's not that doesn't explain anything. Um, it's a very broad study in the sense that I'm being taught filmmaking um but i'm also being taught how to like record and set up multiple cameras in a studio uh, how to set up a tripod which is surprisingly complicated <laughs> there's a lot more to it than you would think so yeah learning about shots just learning to make videos so i started that study um and some more context is this is <laughs> this is mind flooding the fortunes i am reading them but i'm only half reading them I don't think uh, all of them make sense, necessarily. Or at least not all the words in them are real words. 
Super insane mode activated. That's scary. Balkan call torture. My name is Kazuto. See, you get, you maybe take damage, you fuckers. Okay, so this is not a trinket for me. I have ADHD and I, I am distracted easily. I'm gonna drop it now. It's been fun though. Mm, CDs? Grant three to five random item effects from the secret room item pool for 60 seconds from the boss item pool. That's fun. Let me give, let me grab that and then hit me with, uh, with, with it right here. Yo, look at that's cool. What? That's so cool. Yo, I love it. Oh my god, there's so much new shit. Okay, this, I honestly didn't expect there to be this much new shit, but there, there's a lot of new shit. Okay, from here that charges and shoots an epic explosive. The player's hit as a chance to drop on the floor and target enemies automatically. Uh, wait, is it possible that I have the unlocks turned off? Or turned on? And maybe everything unlocked already, which is why there's so much stuff unlocked. Shop items can be purchased even if unaffordable. Death gives a multiple clip damage down, drops a credit card on pickup. Okay, I see. Um, um, I I'm gonna ignore these for now, even though they're new. Because uh, I, I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. And that, that's the gist of it. What was I saying? Right, I started a new artificial study. Okay, okay, but there's more to it. Because um, we all know Corona happened, right? We, we all know um, that little shebang. Um, and in that time, I had a terrible sleep schedule. I had a true streamer sleep schedule, if you if, if you would. Okay, free trials expired. That's very sad. Um, I slept at 4 a.m. and I woke up at 2 or 1 p.m. on the average. I know it's terrible. That's It's not a good... It's not a good sleep schedule and i get that uh but for my new study every weekday i have to be up at 8 a.m now as you may know for someone that is used to waking up at 4 a.m that's quite the jump hello annoying ass pins but different uh or needles um that's quite a quite the, quite the jump. So I've had some struggles with that in the way that um, in the morning I would rather not get out of bed. I've been getting out of bed though, so that's that's positive. That's a positive thing. Um, but it's 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 kind of exa low key exhausting. So me thinking I could do this every day was a foolish endeavor, because I'm tired as hell after school. Now, today was a school day, and I did go to school. But I'm also like, I, uh, I want to record something. So now I'm doing that. Even though I'm a little more tired than the last episode. Um, this is a cool little, uh, um, well, like, caveman room, I guess. I guess that's what you would call it. So, yo, they look like little saw heads. Like Jigsaw, the guy from the movies. Look, do you see that? Kind of looks like it. Wait, they're like Plant vs. Zombies mushies. That's so cute. I love it. Okay, anyway, die, please. Um, so, yeah, I'm tired, like, most of the damn time. So, that that's what's been stopping me from doing that. So, so doing it every day, it was a foolish uh, thought that I could do that. So, I'm not doing it every day. I'm doing it whenever the hell I feel like now. Which kind of sucks, because I, I do want to do it every day. Uh, okay, I'm not doing that. What's that? Carlos Energy afflicts all enemies in the room with hemorrhaging. Hemorrhaging enemies spirit take damage. Blue blood tears randomly. Carlos does and leave blood creep on the ground to damage enemies. Okay, well, whatever. I don't want that. That sounds not super great. Um, so, yeah. I, I, as much as I would like to do it every day and upload one every day, it's probably not going to happen. Um, I want to work towards that, though. Because I, I would love to, like, get home, sit down, eat, some, eat, eat something, and then just, like, record one episode. I just talk about my day like I'm like I'm sort of doing right now. Um, th I think that'd be cool. So that's uh, that that's the goal, I guess, right now. Daily episodes. Could you imagine? Um, of course that. Of course, that could also mean that I um, re don't record daily, but like have days where I record more, and then I'm like set for the week. But that's also that's a different kind of uh, determination to get to. Alright, these enemies are like Isaac enemies, so like when you hit them they get iframes and you have to hit them like three times. It's like it's pretty cool. So that's the goal, man. Recording every day, honestly. Uploading every day. Maybe no, but you know what? Yeah, yeah let's start with uploading every day. That's the first goal goal. Um and then the second goal is rec actually recording every single day. 
Yo, that's pretty good. Increase that stat up, baby. Oh, oh, no. oh, man, I have been hit. That sucks, actually. Wait, I can open this one. That was not worth it. Damn it. I wasted that key. Oh, Jesus. These guys are fucked. Oh, why would you do that? Give me mischief. Yeah, there he is. There's the mischief guy. Mischief maker. Lovely. Ah, shoot. Uh, so, so, so about my study, right? I, I've learned a lot. Um, the main thing I've learned is that cameras and lenses for cameras are really expensive. To the point where it's like, uh, what? You know? Well articulated. I know. I can really make my points and put them into words and stuff. But they're, they're expensive. Like, a lens can easily, um, range... Uh, I, I want to say range, but it can easily be, like, 150... Euros minimum, uh, which also means that it could be one fifty dollars because euros and dollars are about the same value right now, unless that's changed. I haven't checked in a while, but I, last time I checked, this guy has the candle, and now he's dead. So it's, it's expensive, um, but I want a cool camera because then I can v vlog, <laughs> if you will, maybe even upload that to the channel. Yeah, like so I go to school every day, man. It wouldn't be in English, though. It would be in Dutch. Yeah, I'm a Dutch guy, if you didn't know. So, that's, um... And also, I would be Docs, because you would know what city I am. I'm in. Hee hee hee. I don't want that. Not that I... Not that there's anyone out for my blood, probably. But I do feel like I'm the type of guy that, um... There could be someone out there that hates my guts. I think that I've already been that, like that. Um... Cause I, I do think I like to think I have a pretty dominant personality. Um, despite being a little, um... Um... Like a little bit insecure about some things. I am pretty dominant in social situations. Uh, what's a blood bag? I think that just gives me a red heart. I don't want that. So just give me, give me this. Yes. Um, but yeah, I do like to think I'm very dominant in social situations. Not very, not not too much. Uh, I I hope at least. Like I I want to say I, I I have mastered the balance of being energetic and being annoying, but that's. That's not for me to decide. That's for other people that I interact with to decide. But I do make friends uh, er everywhere I go. So that's a pretty good... In Jesus, that sucks. What the hell, brother? Um, so I, I, I'm actually I'm, I'm actually decently like confident in, uh, in my ability to be a decent and fun person to be around. And a nice person to be around. Because I, I, I want to be nice. I, um, I don't like being mean. I, uh, I despise bullying. I despise making fun of people. Oh, that's good. Oh, right, because the PhD gives me... Yeah, okay. Um, now, it may sound like I'm, like, some social justice warrior or whatever the hell. But I do... I, it's it's all it's all actually true. I Honestly, I, you can only make fun of people, in my opinion, if they are mean, too. <laughs> like, if they make fun of other people, too, then you can. And you can, of course, do it as a joke. With friends, but but that's a boundary that you, you would have established earlier. Critical hit! What the hell? That's awesome. Yeah, but I despise that. I uh, if you make fun of others. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. I don't want it. I think nice nice butter bean unlocked. <laughs> Did you see that quick butter beans goodbye? Um. So I I do think I strive to be nice to to others. Uh. To the well, I, at least be considerate of, of their feelings. Like I don't want to go out of my way to be nice. If that makes sense, um, because that can be exhausting, and I, I've already lived that life, and th that was not good for me. So, because like some people say that being selfish isn't nice, and I think uh, while that may be true, being selfish is sometimes necessary to uh, be happy. This guy is not. Freak around, brother. I say that as I kill him without taking damage. Just trying to say something about the game. Oh, little pill bugs. Okay, that's cute. See? See, I've got stuff to say. Bam. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to, like, do things for people, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to be mean to them either and be uh, an obstacle to them. And in that sense, I'm kind of a neutral person, it seems. I am very um, focused on myself, especially these days. Because uh, my brain is undergoing development and growth, and that's something I, I don't know how to handle, so I gotta figure all that out. Uh, hopefully in therapy. What? What are you? You look like an alien. Isn't that fun? I'm gonna blow these two up, and then I'm gonna play this guy. 
Advanced Active Items and an Umbilical Cord. Uh, give me a bomb. What? And a key? What? Oh, wait, I can donate or something? Is that it? That's it. That's all I'm gonna give you. Okay. Oh, I'm betting it. I locked Kane. Because I won. Whoa, you can bet stuff. That's cool. I'm gonna get the 99 cents, baby. Let's go. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. You're dead. <laughs> How's that? Where'd all my money go? <laughs> I already spent it. Bitch. That guy was an asshole. I completely lost train of thought. My train, my train of thought. Uh, yes. So, being nice to people and oh yeah, self discovery. I guess that that that's it. Yeah, because cause, I mean, Corona. I think a lot of people underwent or decided to go undergo a lot um, of self improvement during Corona because there's you have so much time to think uh, about yourself because that's the that's the person you're kind of seeing the most in that period. So it's like, there's a lot of time to think about who you are and what you like and what you don't like. Um, that can hit heavy for people that aren't happy, happy with themselves necessarily. If you're happy with yourself, you're probably just kind of bored <laughs> during Corona. Um, which honestly, good for you. Good for you, man. Corona was a terrible time for me. I could actually go to the shop and get money, but also I haven't been to the... There's an X there. I haven't been to the item room yet. Okay, well, I guess, I guess fuck me. I just spent it on Squeezy, which is pretty good. Because we do need to get the mom's heart. And I feel that Explosivo does give us uh, a lot of... Uh, damage, especially with the tears and the damage, so it's all okay. It's all good, you know, you know what I mean. That's a Polyphemus. Oh. Oh, they do random items. I thought they, I thought it was just an enemy that had red candle, but they do random items. Now that's interesting. Wow, I wonder if they can pick from the whole, like, everything. Or if they can only pick from, like, a preset pool. I want them to be able to pick from everything, because that's more fun and wacky. And I like wacky. So yeah, about the mod, there is a way to um, make it so that you have to unlock the things. Um, I may want to figure out if I can, if I haven't, because I don't think I have, if I can change that to, to, to make me unlock things. Uh, have I not gotten any pass new passives yet? Whoa, those are crazy. I don't think so. No, I haven't. Wow, that's lame. That's lame. I mean, I have skipped out on a few, so... Uh, can't go in there, don't have any keys. Can't go into the shop because we don't have any keys. Uh, which kind of leaves us at uh, an impasse. An impasse where we can't do it. What does that say at the end? That's a bomb that's a bit early for the Troll of Flicker Spirit, but I thought that could be fun. I don't even remember that enemy, so uh, all good, man. All good. Okay. <laughs> thought it was going to be there, truthfully. Uh, I, gu I guess it's going to be here then. Okay, 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 okay. I guess we're just uh, fucking off to the boss. New boss? No, just peek. Yeah, so because I do want to actually unlock everything. I think that'd be cool. Because cool. we were seeing stuff, man, like discs and the tarot, minor arcana. That's all really cool. Makes the game more fun. It also would be kind of cool to unlock it. But maybe I'm not actually gonna. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It just feels like it's all late game stuff. So we got Tropicana and we got an angel room. This is gonna give me a lot of health. This is actually good because this, this is gonna make me unlock mag. I should have waited one room with using the prayer card. <laughs> That's kind of, yeah, okay. Unoptimal, baby. Unoptimal. Uh, so it's actually updating my, um, uh, oh, okay. It's updating my um, planetarium chance, but I don't have those unlocked yet. So that's uh, just ignore that planetarium meter for a bit. I was surprised that it shows up when you don't have to unlock yet. I guess the mod creator didn't think about that, but that's all right. It's not a huge, uh, a huge nuisance. Just know that I don't have it unlocked yet, so don't go be going. Why did you go with the 100% planetarium? Items? Well, for one, honestly, the planetarium items honestly are not that um, crazy. They're good. They're a good boost, and if you can't help but skip an item, it's a nice little like band aid. Fuck. This sucks. This uh, this is not fun. Stop it. Okay, cool. Um, what's that? What is that? What? 
Oh god, jump scare warning. Okay, it's a ghost guy. Got it, got it, got it. What's I talking about? What was I talking about? I just completely lost my train of thought. That happens. I guess that's gonna happen. That sucks. Oh well. Oh well. No, but what actually was I talking about though? Because I think I had a point in there somewhere that I was gonna get that I was gonna do. What? What? No! I'm innocent! I never did anything. Maybe it was about the, uh, an optimal playing? I got no clue. Yo, these are fucking Luigi's Mansion sounds, man. Is that allowed? Well, I guess it's not for profit, so I guess it is allowed. No, oh, that brings me back, man. It brings me back to the olden days when I got a GameCube. And I beat Luigi's Mansion in two... Fuck! In two days. It's a short game. But it's a Metroidvania if you think about it. I actually watched a Chura Conroe play it first. Chura guy's one of the OGs, man. Oh, immense respect for him. Oh, he's why I'm here today, honestly. If it weren't for Chugga, I wouldn't even think about reporting myself playing a game. Even though Chugga's content is like completely different, which is something I noticed now, uh, but Dino's in the past, he's like, he prepares everything down to the details. I like to just go and pull turkey and just whatever. That's annoying. So I think that's revamped enemies. Um, it's a good time to talk about that. There's a mod I have called revamped enemies, which, well, revamps enemies. So, like, usually those little angel guys, they, um, they shoot three tears at you, but now they shoot two feathers at you in, a, in, a, in an interesting helix pattern. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. So, that does work. I wanted to talk about that so, so you guys know and aren't, like, confused. So those aren't free folio free people. Those are actual just, like, normal enemies, but they have different patterns now. It probably, it probably also revamps bosses, but uh, that's all. That's all. Whatever. Let's donate more. I'm donating. Yeah, Chuck Conroy, man, he's one of the OGs, and he's still going strong today. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't watch him any personally anymore, but because uh, I think I've grown out of his humor as as I've grown older. Uh, but I still uh, have immense respect for the guy, and especially how much um, time and effort he put <laughs> he puts into his playthroughs they're more informative than anything but they can also have like a little flair of humor with it what the hell what the hell what the hell i'm mine for it. oh okay uh the the, the poop enemies killed him <laughs> and then they killed themselves now that's cool i, I was very worried about that room and then they just kind of died um so honestly it's very feasible that we die on this run i'm noticing very feasible that we do not actually beat mom's heart today which is okay we're here to beat the game. We're here to have fun. Um, and I, I mean, I could probably think of endless topics to talk about. Whoa! That's cool! That makes Lust so much cooler. What the fuck? ETP, though. That's cool. So Lust uses pills now with this, these mobs. That's awesome. Shut it up! Shot speed up. It does make his things more interesting and more passionate. The the mod. Um, I, I, could go, I could go into Isaac and what I think about Isaac and its development and its creativity at, at points. Uh, and I will, most likely. I mean, I'm playing the damn game, but not today, not today. Because I'm already talking about other stuff, like Chugga Conroy. Because actually, I remember watching Chugga play Pikmin 2. Um, which is the only way I've interacted with Pikmin. See, the, the Pikmin franchise is by watching Chugga play it. And Chugga specifically. Um, what's happening with... Okay, so they needed everything else to be dead before we could... Because they're eternal enemies, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I watched him play Pikmin 2, and I watched him play Luigi's Mansion, and I remember Luigi's Mansion was my first series that I was able to follow as it came out, uh, which is very funny, because I, I used to just watch this, like, series that he's already completed and just binge watch them, that was just what I did, um, and then once I saw that he was playing Luigi's Mansion, and I was like, yo, that's cool, it's Luigi, I love Mario, I'm the Mario fan, which was my actual YouTube nickname at the time. Um, I wonder if there's anyone subscribed that saw me in those days. That'd be crazy. Watch it now. If so, you are the true OG, good sir. Or ma'am, or, um, neither. But, yeah, so, 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 okay, so, I was watching play Luigi's Mansion. I was like, this is awesome. Sounds like a cool game. Um, and then, I was like, where's, the, I was looking for the second episode. It just wasn't out. I was very confused. I was like, is it, well, I don't even know what I was thinking at the time. I was just like, I don't get it. Uh, I, I had to figure out that he was uploading it at the time. Um, I, I was mind blown. I was like, holy shit. 
he uploaded that yesterday. That was a mind-blowing concept for me. Gutso the Great. One more can of beans. Okay, hello, Gutso. Let's uh, focus on Gutso here for a second. He spits out his guts. Is that all you do, buddy? Okay, okay, you're more annoying than I thought, actually. I thought you were gonna be easy, and then... Okay, I was about to make fun of you, and then you are kind of kicking my ass. Guts exposed. Very gory, I like it. Very gross. That's the Isaac grade. Die, please? Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, nice damage up. Yippee. Yippee. Very good. Now, let's see if we can get into the shop with moms. But yeah, that was a crazy concept for me as a child, because I mean, every time you watched a video on YouTube, it was it was like uploaded um, at least like months ago, maybe even years ago. So I, I was mind blown that it was being uploaded at that. Oh, I already checked that. That that sucks. Um, that would be mind blown. That that that's the clue of that story. I don't know if you've ever. Man, the old days of YouTube, they they were quite something. Um, and it's a little bit like when I was dreaming of doing YouTube, I was dreaming of doing it like they did in the past, of um. Just like sitting down playing a game and just having your personality be engaging and funny and charming. Uh, but the, 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 the tides of YouTube have changed by a lot. Uh, and my Hollow Knight playthrough is kind of like that. And I'm, I, I try to emulate that style. But obviously, there's not a lot of room for that style anymore on YouTube. Uh, and that's partially be because of attention span stuff. Like it, 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 it just became less. But actually, that may actually... Okay, hold on. That may actually just be kind of... Whoa. Whoa. So see, so that's like a vanilla enemy with new moves. That's 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 silly. That's hard. I like it. I'm not here to mess around. I'm here, I'm here to play Isaac and have a challenge and also marvel at what people can do for free. So... Oh, man. I Oh, God. I lost my thought again. But I, I, I think I can have... I think I can get it back. Right, YouTube, there you go. So people say that like people's attention spans have lessened and I think to a certain extent that's true. But I think what's also true is that a bigger portion of YouTube, the YouTube, um, um, just like people that are on YouTube, I, don't, I can't think, uh, the demographic are children now. They're young, they're young people to the point where it's like, should you even be on YouTube? That, that That's how young I'm talking about, like eight years old. Now, you're eight years old and watching, of course, I don't mean you. So don't feel offended. <laughs> no, but like, for real, I, I do think back in the day, there were less small children on YouTube because it was less accessible. Because now those, you, the, the kids, have, they have iPads, and they have uh, smartphones, and it's so much easier to access it. Um, so there's probably a lot more kids. And what's the thing with kids? They have short attention spans, dude. They really, really do have short attention spans because it's just not developed yet fully. Um, now, the effects of what YouTube videos have on the development of their attention spans is a whole different discussion that I'm not qualified to really comment on. Uh, I could I could imagine it kind of impedes it, though, but that's just me. Um, but, but so I think the, 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 there's just more kids now. And kids have short attention spans. And that, that, that's why we go, what the fuck? What the fuck? What? What the f what the fuck? What the Oh I'm actually I don't want I don't want him to touch me. Maybe he's gonna do something really creepy. Or horror warning. God The f the way he fades out just makes it even scarier because he, he, it doesn't feel like you defeated him, it just fe feels like he, he's gonna get you later. That was fucked up. I like it though, I like it. A little horror. So yeah, I, I don't think maybe maybe attention spans of people haven't actually deteriorated because I feel like people of my age and that includes my attention span isn't super bad. Okay, so mine isn't as good, but I have been diagnosed with ADHD. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it, it's there's a clear reason for me. Uh, but I don't think like going on TikTok and stuff fucks with people's attention span necessarily. Um, like. One of my teachers once went, my, my, my editing teacher actually, uh, which is cool for me because I don't know how to edit yet. Ha ha ha, anyway. Um, fuck off, sir, thank you. Um, okay. This may not be worth it to pick up because uh, we've we already reached the limit, so I'm just gonna pick this up instead and I'm gonna go for the key. Thank you. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, I don't think... He, so what he asked was, um, who here watches videos that are one minute long? Uh, <laughs> it's just like the way... And I'm saying it right now, and I'm just like, that's... I think it's, I think it's uh, ridiculous and kind of a um, bad faith question, even. Um, I'm sure he didn't mean it that way. Because he, uh... Um... I don't know. It's like... I, I get where he's coming from. Because there, there's definitely some stuff where you feel like... Yo, these kids, though. They be, uh... They be watching Tink Tonks. And they be going... Uh, they, be, they be not even finishing the 15 second ones. And I mean, I'm, I'm also like... <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm also guilty of that. But it doesn't mean my attention span necessarily is bad. It's just that on some days I'm tired and I don't want to focus. So that, 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 that's a whole different story, you know? But yeah, he asked that and like a, a lot of people uh, raised their hands because... Um... Melatonin. <laughs> Kevin Megami. <laughs> I love that bit. It's a really funny bit. When someone in a cartoon snores like that, it's really funny. I didn't expect that. <laughs> That's funny. All right, that got me. That's a good hearty laugh. Um, but as I was saying, a lot of people raised their hands because it's not that far-fetched that people would still watch long-form content. And what, saying one-minute stuff is even long-form is already kind of ridiculous because because that's just... I, like, we can focus for one minute, I think. At least, like, there's the... Okay, so here's... Okay, here's actually a good example. There's damn live streams on Twitch that take hours people watch that shit so of course we watch stuff that's longer than one minute I, I watched a one hour video essay on rick and morty and i'm not afraid to admit it because it's a it's a well-written show that declined in the past at least that's what all the video essay channels would like me to think but one, well, from the one that i saw i do kind of agree with it that's a that's a whole different story as well either way i do i don't think the, um, it this kind of proved that adults and maybe the teens and stuff still have a decent attention span it's just the kids that I make it seem like everyone has a, has a lower attention span, shorter attention span. But I think it's a little misleading. The stats are misleading. That's that. That's what I think, at least. Um, and that's why YouTube has changed so much. Because there's a lot of kids who uh, want to watch the mommy finger, mommy finger, where are you? And Coco Melon and stuff like that. To the point where uh, Coco Melon uh, like like has overtaken PewDiePie. Watch this. Cool. Um. Which is just like, uh, which is also a thing that really shows what YouTube has become. It's become a lot more corporate, less you, more, uh, more we, but not even we. Maybe us is right. Hello, mom. Good day. Maybe us is better, a better thing, as in YouTube cares more about themselves than their creators. And I mean, the turn of the dislike stuff, which is just so obviously for, um, companies that got dislike bombed on their stuff, because, um, it, it, they, they would like to say that it's for the smaller creators, right? But that doesn't make any sense because you can still see your dislikes in your creator stuff. So smaller creators still know if they're being dislike bombed or not. It's just so... Um, it, it's literally just so that companies don't get bad press on their YouTube videos. That's it. And that's just like, you can tell. Like, I don't even have to explain to you why it shows that YouTube has been more corporate. And they're just here for a profit, and there's more ads, and there's more copyright laws and stuff. So, well, one thing I did read today, though, is that they are actually giving us a huge uh, copyright music library that we're allowed to use for videos without getting copyright stricken. And they're not royalty free songs, they're actual songs from labels, from record labels. Uh, I think that's a great change. That's that's amazing. That's something, um, oh, you know what, I want to I wanna unlock Maggie, so I'm just going to ignore these for now. I want to unlock Magus. Magus Bagus. There you go. I locked Maggie. And I locked the tank. And I locked Cursed. I think that's it. Yes. So I think that's a cool change. That's good. That's good. That, that, that seems to be a very creator-friendly change. But there's still a lot that needs to happen for people to be satisfied again in this community. And that's, uh, that's also like this kind of content I'm making right now. I know it doesn't really work on YouTube anymore. I know it doesn't. Um, which is also why Norline's Isaac series slowly started dying. Because he was looking at the uh, analysis, analysis and he was like, uh, why does Super, Super Autopus just, just, just a lot, does a lot better? And you know, it does. It actually it actually does. Because it's short form content as well. Because the, 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 
Um, the runs are shot short. The little matches are short. It's all very instant dopamine, which is what people do be searching for sometimes. Okay, now I'm actually contradicting myself. I'm noticing. So maybe people do have a shorter attention span. It's definitely possible. But either way, um, like I said, I don't really mind if this this content doesn't really have a place for YouTube because I'm not trying to. Get, that was I saw it too, and then I ran into it. So it's not it's not like this series is is gonna be my big break, and I acknowledge that. Uh, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm here and talking to real people because I'm up gonna I'm gonna upload this. I'm gonna put my words online. And I'm gonna get over my fear of recording. Basically, is, is what it boils down to. And get more comfortable with it. I'd say to call it a fear of recording is a little a little or dramatic. I feel like, um, but but it, it is like you are like uh, putting yourself on a stage. It's like a performance in a way. And while it's not like a super crazy performance. Also, as, as you can see, the overall enemies, actually, when you explode a host, it breaks their... Okay, not that time, apparently, but it, it usually breaks their hat, which is cool, so you can actually get them. Um, that's... That's cool, I like that. That's really cool. So... Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's mainly for self-improvement, and if people like it as it goes on, that's that's great. Um, if not, my girlfriend will always watch. Hi, girlfriend. I won't say your name because it's it's, it's all public stuff. But I, I I know you're watching and I appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Mm, but that's enough sappy shit. That's not what you're here for. You're here for me talking about Luigi's Mansion, which is a good game. The first Metroidvania, if you will. <laughs> what do you mean Metroid was the first one? That doesn't sound right. Yeah, there it is. See, that explosion actually did it, which is cool. Uh, the fool can um, is only used by fools. Haha, <laughs> get it? I spun it into a uh, into a. Uh... Anyway, yeah. So just like this kind of content, it's it's just. But there are people who uh, enjoy it still, like me. Like me, I love long content. I love long. I love sitting down and really chewing on something. Just like bit, like bite my teeth into it and just kind of. Uh, enjoy it and like get 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 caught on a journey like I started a video today that was um, uh, Super Mario 64 uh, more than a game and I'm just like I, I may I may finish that uh, It's the same with with series. I mean my favorite show is fucking it, it's it's one piece that One a show that's famous slash infamous for being super long and even now I'm like I find it too short I want more one piece <laughs> that they didn't give us enough yet and that's good because it's coming out weekly every Sunday this is not a shill. Maybe it is a shill. Either way, I'm not being paid for it. But I, I am a one piece shill. I will always recommend it. I think it's one of the best things ever to come, come out of humanity. But that's all also a topic for a different day. But yeah, I'm, I'm someone who's, who loves to uh, really sit down and watch something, consume content. Which is why Super Auto Pets that was never interesting to me. There's no cohesive line. It's just you go into a, uh, a game, you watch some guys pet it out. And, uh, and uh, before you know it, it's over. And then you're like, okay, time for the next game. And I'm just like... Where's the story? Well, okay, so games don't all need a story to be interesting, but I do like um, a sense of linear progression uh, in a way, which doesn't even have to be linear, just like progression in general, which is like why I like Isaac a lot, um, especially replaying it, because there's a lot to unlock, and that means you're working towards a goal, and you can like see it being built up from scratch, and that's awesome. That's fun. Uh, I was also in Rogue Legacy 2 for a pretty long time, because um, I, which I didn't expect, like, to me, to be that much into it and maybe may even go back to it because there's just so much to unlock and so much to grow and it's just awesome which is really fun so the, the, that's more something i like to see but yeah short form content does better on youtube nowadays um i may go go to that stuff some at some point because i know i can edit uh, and i can make short videos but that's that's it's not yet i need to be more confident because uh, sitting down and editing is um something that, that requires uh, not not effort. That's not what I mean. It's like um, Requires confidence because you're sitting down and you're wanting to be funny and then you're like hearing yourself talk And you're like god that wasn't funny and then you want to edit into something funny But then you're like am I being too much? Am I being too little? Will people know I'm finally lazy? Some it's just like insecurities cuts spew up and I, I just want to be confident and that's what the study the study is gonna help with um, And this is gonna help with it. So the study kind of like is um Fueling my creative side, and this is fueling my talking on camera side. There you go. I actually figured out how to verbalize it during recording. Look at that. And if anyone's watching, for real, I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, 
and I, I feel like I haven't been genuinely grateful for people that watch my content, but now I'm like, I'm like, that's really cool that you, that you're willing to watch me talk about random shit. I appreciate that. Uh, but that's all, uh, I'm sure I'm going to be thanking people a lot longer, a lot more, uh, in the future, for sure. So don't think you missed out on your opportunity to be thanked just yet, even though you're here for it, so you didn't. But that's, uh, that's all a topic for a different day, as I like to say. As to not have to get into it right now, because then there's two- I could- Oh look, these guys have like a little tell now. That's amazing. Okay, that's really cool. That makes it more fair. Fucker. Yeah, the, the thing is, I, I say it's a topic for another day, even if you want me to get into it. Uh, like, I say that because I know I'm going to get into it at a different point, because it's just stuff that, like, I I know I'm going to bring up again. Um, and I don't want to start too many uh, topics in one episode, because there's only, like, 40 minutes to talk about it. Fucking, you, you, are, you, are you jiggling me, dude? Are you jiggling me? You are, you're jiggling me. Okay, I need to watch out. These are annoying as frick. So as you can see, like, Fiend Folio does not make the game any easier. It just makes the game different. I like that. I like that. We, we were here for it. Oh, this mom's hot already. Oh, shit. I would have prepared a little more if I did, if I knew that. I wasn't sure. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. I don't want to lose now. Like, I, I made it to mom's heart. We're going to finish it. We're going to finish it. Freaking oh, brother. I have all the knowledge I know. So just like, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Exploder, exploder. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. That's more like it. 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 Why are you Ooh, wow, that was cool. Sorry that I gave anyone a headache. My bad, I think. Quick bug. Anyway, that's mom's heart for the first time. Um, yeah, so anyway, I, I, I think all my topics were wrapped up anyway. Uh, so I don't want to get into long topics in the edited video because then it's, it'll get cut off. I'll just play the animation. I haven't seen this in years, so I may as well watch it. Oh, isn't this the Eden unlock? Oh, excuse me for the yawn. I feel like after an episode, I just gotta stretch and just kind of relax my body. After a good day's of work. <laughs> yes, Eden, baby. Look at that. That's Eden. I'm about to repentance team. Sweet. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Um, I actually, actually I wanted to talk more on instinct. Let's see our unlocks here. Okay, that's our unlocks. Let's just check our um. That's yeah, funny. Our little unlock system. We have twenty-four secrets out of six thirty-seven. Okay. I guess feed folio isn't included in this. That's fine. That doesn't need to be. Uh, but yes. Thank you for watching. Hey, where's the uh, the unlock shit? Like, it shows, it shows the unlock. Ah, oh, man. Cool. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, um, like if you like this. Subscribe if you want to see the next one and see where, where this all goes and my journey of self-improvement and whatever the hell. Uh, have a very good night, man. Have a very good night.